this is our second time coming to the area and uh, really being able to preach the gospel and let people know about just my story about how uh, through faith, family and friends um, I got through um, my depression, especially as a kid, um, in finding the truth of my value, my purpose and my destiny. So hoping to just encourage a, a bunch of people. I tell people today that my parents had no idea what kind of man I would be or what kind of future I would have. I had no idea as a child that I'd ever be able to have a life full of joy and peace. A lot of kids have arms and legs but don't know what their purpose is. There are 48 year old men who still don't know what their purpose is. Because I was so close to ending my life, I wanted people to know that there was hope. And since I've been broken free from my prison of fear, fear of what people think of me, fear of the future, fear of having no purpose and so on, uh, all I want to do is set other people free from that same prison. And I want people to know that when you put your happiness in temporary things, your happiness will be temporary. So money, drugs, sex, alcohol, pornography, fame, fortune, position, popularity, it's all empty, man. Um, to really know that we were designed for a purpose, an eternal purpose. In my soul, I, I really felt that I wanted to believe um, in an eternal life where there is no pain, hunger and death and sickness and disease. And, and for me, once you step out in faith, that's when you live as if you do believe in it. And when you do believe in what God says and who Jesus said He was, um, everything changes. Not every circumstance, but everything else in us about our circumstance changes.